Hey nerd, what you reading? Give me that. Get that back. Yeah, get that back. What you gonna do about it, nerd? I'm being serious. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? <sighs> really? You gonna read this book and autobiography of Nikola Tesla? Let me see what's in here. Oh yeah, inventions of Nikola Tesla. Of course you don't know you're reading this garbage all day. Why don't you do something else for a change? I'll read this book instead. It has some more viable lessons for how to be a huge jerk. Nerd. You're the huge jerk. Hell no, you just said that, nerd. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. Tell you what, nerd. I'm gonna take this book from you. Mine now. What are you gonna do about it, nerd? Not sure. Tell you what, if you win me in the battle, I'll give you your book back. If you lose, this book is going in the garbage can. Sounds good? This doesn't sound fair. How am I supposed to be you? That's not my problem. Tell you what, if you can beat me in a good fashion rap battle, book is yours. If you lose, book is in the garbage. Rap battle? Do you even know how to deliver a roast? Boy, please, you're questioning me on how to deliver a roast? I bet reading these books about people won't teach you how to deliver a roast. Well, I learned from the famous, the all-powerful Mike Steady. I took lessons with him. Of course I know how to roast. How about this? I'll be nice. Two days and two nights to prepare. Three lines, three rap battles, three rounds. Uh, actually, I'll go two rounds because you're not winning any of them. Just somehow magically you somehow managed to squeeze yourself in a win. We'll go to a final battle. Sound good? And up to stakes? If I lose, you can humiliate me and get your book back. If I win, books in the trash and humiliate you. Fine, I accept your dumb challenge. Deal, shake on it. Alright, see you later, chump. Oh yeah. This belongs to me for now. Later, chump. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm dumb. Why did I challenge him to do a rap battle? Why don't I even agree? I could just put another book. If he just destroyed my book, I at least wouldn't have to humor myself. What am I gonna do? So he's, so, apparently Mark said that he learned from some powerful rapper called Mike Steady. Let me see if I can get one of my friends to help me with this. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Please pick up. Come on, come on. Mm. Hello? Oh my gosh, Jake. Help me, please. You know that bully from school? He picked on me today and threatened to humiliate me in time of the entire school and destroy my new favorite book. You need to help me, bro. Please, bro, what you need. It's gonna sound really dumb, but he proposed that we do a rap battle or something. And I don't know why I agreed to it, but I like, I don't, I don't know anything about rap. Do, do you maybe know something about it? Yeah, I know something about rapping. Do you like want me to help you rap or something? Or like, all I need from you is to teach me how to rap. That's it. Okay? Sure, bro. So here's what you need to know about rapping. Rapping only makes sense if it's consistent and like it's actually good. So for example, take you for example, you can actually use this as a starting with your plan. So what you need to do first is find out what kind of rap suits you best. Listen to like different rappers, different instrumentals, different tracks, and then find what suits you. From my point of view, I think what suits you is instead of rapping in slang language like most people do, rap in professionalism language. For example, instead of saying, I'm going to beat you up with my words, say I'll deliver a lyrical punch. And instead of saying, you're being so dumb, you could say your intellect is below zero as a roast. And then what you want to do afterwards is make sure to put a little bit of a spin in there and make the ends of each word rhyme. For example, if you're going to use, uh, let's say, I battle you with my lyrical lines. 
And then the next line you can go by delivering you these crazy rhymes. Lines and rhymes will rhyme. You get what I mean? Yeah, I get it. And then what else? That you would choose a track and then try to match with your words with the track you picked. You don't always have to deliver it more professionally, but since due to your image of being a smart kid, people will like your rap and feel like it's more natural if you use smarter language than the bully will use. Oh, thanks, dude. You're the best. No problem, buddy. That's what I'm here for. Goodbye. To be continued.